How to make a Swiss butternut squash soup. Mm. Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Cooking Swiss. And today we are going to make a Swiss butternut squash or it could be also a pumpkin soup. And we're starting off with all the ingredients. I just got the rosemary from outside, still has a little bit of snow on it. And uh, a obviously a pretty large potato, one onion. I'm using frozen, but you could use, for example, if you have leftover, um, you know, cans from uh, for Thanksgiving, for example, from with pumpkin. So pumpkin puree you could use. I'm using one carrot. We also need heavy whipped cream, pepper, salt, and I am using my good old trusty bullion and we're also going to add water so let's get chopping first we are peeling and chopping the onion just cutting the ends off like this and then yep so i'm just you can also use a regular onion i just decided i'm using a red onion today I think flavor-wise, the red onions are a little bit sweeter. You're on the stove, my beautiful new stove. Ta-da! I'm so excited. So let me um, turn on. On like a light flame and we also gonna need I forgot to show that earlier olive oil and approximately one tablespoon or a little bit more I'm adding in the freshly chopped Onions. And I'm going to turn that down on the absolutely lowest level. On the next step, we are peeling the potato. I believe this is a rusted potato. Use any of the potatoes uh, that, you know, cook, not hard cook. I don't. There are different types of potatoes, like type, type A, B, and C. And this should be um, a C kind. The C is a very soft. Basically, the one, the type of potato you use uh, to make mashed potatoes. And now we just chop it up in basic pieces. just kind of like rough chop it. Same procedure with the carrot. I just found out, you know how lately you can also buy the um, the white carrots and the, the purple carrots? And I always thought that the white and the purple carrots are the new, the new kind of uh, carrots. And these are the traditional ones. But guess what? I found out I was watching this YouTube video about cooking in the Middle Ages. That this orange, the orange carrot is actually the new type. And the, um, the white and the purple one used to be the regular carrots. So one never, you know. By the way, any of the ingredients I'm using right now are typical Swiss ingredients. Something you would find in a traditional Swiss cuisine on a daily basis. So again, I kind of rough chop it. Whatever is going to be easier to puree. Alright, so now we're turning up the heat a little bit. 
because now I'm here to stir and we're just sauteing everything for um, two to three minutes. Also, in the meantime, I got this new, this is, by the way, my little compost box. Um, I got this new, um, what's it, like, immersion, not a blender, <laughs> what is it called, an electric tea kettle. And um, I put it on one liter because that's exactly what we're going to need. And I'm already, I'm using this because it really boils it so fast. And now we're getting ready to turn in the, uh, put in the wash. And this is still frozen. I didn't defrost or anything. And as soon as the water is finished boiling, we'll add the one liter, which is approximately, I guess, four, four cups of liquid. four cups of water. Yeah, so this is now steaming hot and I am actually pouring this right in here. All of it. Now putting in a total of four teaspoons of bullion. Yeah, bullion. Bullion, bullion powder. And um, so we're going to stir a little bit more and wait till it comes to a full boil. And then we'll let it simmer for approximately 20 minutes. We have to make sure that everything is completely cooked. And of course, I almost forgot one thing, but I realized it just in time. It's throwing this one little rosemary stick in here. If you don't have fresh rosemary, you can always obviously use dried. Let's see real quick how this is uh, coming along. It's boiling nicely. We have still 18 minutes left and I also want to put in some pepper. 20 minutes are up and oh it's too hot. Let me do it anyhow. All right and now what we need to do is remove the, if we can, the rosemary, the stick, if I can find it. I right, couldn't find it. So what we are going to do now is with the immersion blender, we're uh, blending this. And uh, you can just use a regular blender. Right. This looks pretty good to me. And now we're adding in the whipped cream. All right. Well, the way we're going to do it, we're going to pour approximately one deciliter, which is, I don't know, half a cup maybe, of whipped cream. And we're also going to add in a teaspoon of cornstarch. There we go. That was not too bad. I mix this up really nicely because we don't want the soup to get clumpy. All right, so now it's mostly blended in. And we can just pour it in. Grab a stirrer, which I had here. And you can just reheat the soup a little bit also to make sure, um, you know, blends in nice. If you like, you can add a little bit of a dab of sour cream. I just like to eat it plain like this. And this is truly the perfect soup for this beautiful snowy day in South Jersey. So I hope you're gonna give this recipe a thumbs up and thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!